All right, we are in our third grade mind math book, pages 69 and 70. Independent practice. Use the addition table. Shade a diagonal of numbers blue that show the sums equal to eight. I'm gonna take my blue. Uh, this is an addition table. We know it's addition because it has this plus sign right here. And we're going to shade all of the eights blue and it says it's diagonal. So I already know I'm going to go down like this. I could stop here and say three plus five is eight and we match them. It's finding a pattern. Shade a diagonal of numbers green that show the sums equal to five. So we're gonna find the fives and we're gonna shade these green Shade a row of numbers yellow that represents sums with one addend of four. So one addend means either one of the numbers over here is four or one of the numbers over here because remember the addends are these numbers here. So we can shade the row this way. Look, some of these numbers I've already shaded. They're also addends of four. And it says to shade a row, and rows go this way. Columns go this way. So number six, shade a column of numbers of pink that represent sums with one addend of six. So I'm gonna take my pink, and if one of the addends is six, we could either use this one or this one, but it says column, columns go up and down. So this is a column, six. And some of these numbers are getting shaded twice. These are all numbers with an addend of six. Shade two squares purple that each represent the sum of three and nine. What property does this show? So the first thing is we know three plus nine equals 12 and nine plus three equals 12. This is called the commutative property. And let's shade those purple, three, and nine, go down right here. And then here, nine and three, go down, it's right here. Circle two squares that each represent a sum of zero and 10. Circle two squares, so I'm just gonna use my pin this time. And we need zero plus 10 equals 10, and 10 plus zero equals 10. And we remember when we have a zero, it's called the identity property. And we're gonna find the zero and the 10 here, still 10. Zero plus 10 is 10, like that, circle those. All right, number nine. Shade two add-ins red that have a sum of eight. Complete the number sentence. Something plus something is eight. So we're gonna take our red and we're finding two numbers that equal eight. So we can find any two numbers that equal eight. Shade the two add-ins red. So I'm gonna shade four and four, and so I'm gonna put four plus four. Use the commutative property of addition and shade the other two add-ins red. Complete the addition sentence. Well, since I chose four and four, they're actually the same, but for the sake of this, let's choose two and six, and then maybe six and two. We would still get eight. So I could change this to six plus two, and this one's two plus six, because they want to see that commutative property, which is kind of hard to show with four plus four, because it's still four plus four. They're still the same two numbers. So I could change them around to a different set of numbers. Okay, page 70. Use math tools. Marlo stacked eight boxes. She had no more boxes to stack. Find the total number of boxes she stacked. Shade two numbers that each represent the sum write two number sentences. So if she stacks eight boxes and she has no more box boxes to stack, then we know that this is, she stacked all the boxes. She has no more, so that would be zero, it would be no more. So eight plus zero equals eight, and this is the identity property. Pedro ran three miles on Sunday and two miles on Monday. Find the total number of miles he ran. So let's do that part first. Three miles and two miles, like 
equals five miles. Find the total number of miles, five miles. Shade two squares that each represent the sum. Write two number sentences. So this is called the commutative property. And if he was to run three miles and two miles, it would be right here. And this would be the answer. Or he could do two miles and three miles, and we would shade this one over here. This one would match, it's still five. You can see this one here. You can go two across to three, three down, you get five, two down to three, still you get five. So that's the commutative property. Hot problems, model math. Write a real world problem for which you can use the addition table and the commutative property of addition to solve, and then solve it. So. I ate two brownies and then I ate three more. How many brownies did I eat in all? And my sentences would be two plus three or three plus two, because we are gonna use the commutative property. And total, I would have eaten five brownies. How can addition patterns help me add mentally? If we know patterns, our brains solve problems quickly and accurately. When you know that two plus three is five, you know that three plus two is five, that's a pattern.